the best budget friendly all around lens for your Canon EOS RP. Here it is the Tamron 24-70 f2.8 VC USD. Why? For a sub, it's the price. It is one of the cheapest of its class among its competitors and two is the bright maximum aperture of f2.8 across the whole zoom range and three is the focal range it has a very effective focal range of 24 to 70 millimeter uh, zoom range which is gonna get you around lots of things to shoot and number four is the VC or the IS this lens has an IS built in and number five is the existence of a weather sealing gasket right at the base mount of the lens and now to go a little bit deeper into what i've just said okay now first up is the price at the time this video is made you can find this particular lens used on ebay starting from 400 us dollars to 600 us dollars which is a very good deal for a maximum aperture lens of f2.8 24 to 70 millimeter uh, for your full frame camera and of course you're gonna need this adapter with it but most of the time when you buy this camera you're gonna get adapter as well so it shouldn't be too much of an issue and secondly is the f2.8 bright aperture the f2.8 bright aperture is gonna allow more lights to come in which is gonna make it usable which is gonna make it very useful in low light situation or indoors I myself shoot weddings and events a lot and having this lens with its wide aperture does give me that little bit of extra light and it's definitely beneficial to have and thirdly is the focal range now the lens tied at a slight wide angle of 24 millimeter down straight to the 70 millimeter slight telephoto end of the lens which is uh, by far is probably one of the most uh, useful zoom range we have in this class all cameras you can get a nice wide angle shots with the 24 millimeter uh, zoom range and you can get a clean portrait style shots with that 70 millimeter uh, zoom range at the end of the lens at the end of the zoom range and number four is is or vc they call it in the timer on ecosystem okay now having this vc as a hybrid shooter is for me nowadays a must it helps a lot in stabilizing your shots it helps you use your camera and help more uh, effectively and more efficiently and with the digital is already in this camera paired with that is in this lens it gives you a good amount of stabilization when you're shooting with it uh, for comparison on my last wedding shoot which is about two weeks ago uh, i usually shot uh, this camera with a gimbal 90% of the time while well, I have my handheld shots at about 10% of the time during the whole shoot but I tried with this lens recently uh, on that shot uh, on that wedding shoot I think I probably got uh, a full handheld shots for about 80% of the time while only using the gimbal about 20% of the time when I need to have that moving shots wherever I'm following the bride I'm tracking her or something like that I need some sort of a dolly movement shots having this lens has changed it all I like I said usually use a gimbal up to 90% of the time during a wedding shoot but recently I think I only use it about 10 to 20% of the time while the rest of the time I use this fella right here and this fella right here for most of all the handheld shots that I had so it's definitely helping it might not be too big of a deal if you're taking photos with it that I as in here but when you're shooting videos it starts to become a very very uh, a very desirable feature that you you would like to have and lastly is this there is uh, the weather sealing gasket at the base of the camera if you're always outdoor shooting it's gonna help prevent all those extra dust from coming in adds a little extra layer of protection to your lens and your camera bodies as well so that is definitely a nice thing to have so that would be it I guess five of the main reasons why I would say this is probably one of the best budget all-around lens with f2.8 aperture for your Canon EOS RP 
Of course, if you have the money, you can try and go for the second generation of this lens. I haven't tried it, so I don't know how it performs. But in terms of performance, oh yeah, two things that I don't like about this lens or the only two things that I hope that it would have the two things that I hope it would have changed within this lens would have improved in this lens or the two things that I wish were different in this lens is first of all is the focus breathing it's the thing that happens when you try to change focus of the lens only focus not the zoom range it's gonna look like you're actually zooming in and zooming out and among all those lenses that I have tried this particular lens probably had one of the worst uh, focus breathing of them all uh, as you can see right here it's going to lock down to my face no change in zooming it's done here okay you see that it's like the whole frame move And number two is the IS. Despite the fact that it does have a good IS system built in it, uh, the IS systems sometimes jerks around quite a lot. Not a lot as in terms of how frequent it jerks around, but as how much it jerks around. Usually, uh, when you try to move the camera around too fast, sometimes it does tend to jerk around, maybe in uh, an attempt to counter that movement and start to stabilize the image in it doing that you're gonna get that nasty it is as if you're holding your lens like this and you're jerking it off like yeah something like that so it's kind of nasty and i do get that in my shots every once in a while but rarely i'd say maybe out of 30 shots i take maybe i'd get one of them with that kind of weird jerky motion in it it's livable and as far as how i have been testing it i have used this lens all the way during my previous wedding shoots i it came out nicely as expected and it does not bother me that much but it's good for you guys to know what to expect from the is system of this lens so that's it there's two things that i wish it would have done better the extreme focus breathing and the jerky is motion which is probably something that they have improved in the second generation of this lens. There is a similar lens, the Tamron 24-70 f2.8 VC USD G2, which stands for the second generation of it, I think. Uh, cost about 400 to 500 US dollars more. Uh, probably much better performance. Uh, I don't know, I haven't tested it around. Maybe you guys have it. Feel free to share your experience with it below, but I will update you guys if I ever get my hands on it. This is literally one of the lenses that stays on this camera, on my Canon EOS RP uh, for quite a while now. And I have been using it for almost uh, for almost everything okay so here it is it does feel a little bit front heavy because of the lens is heavy if you cradle it properly like this it's gonna feel just nice in the hands and it feels solid and yeah so uh thank you again guys for watching this is the perfect no this is the budget uh this is one of the best budget lens for the canon esrp the tamron 24 to 70 f 2.8 vc usd okay guys thank you very much for watching so i guess i will be seeing you guys in my next video